Good evening. Continuing our discussion on psychiatric practice, <clears throat> and particularly what's happening in Western Australia in the draft Mental Health Bill 2011, which is genocidal, and it needs to be rejected. Also, there's currently the Barnett government is engaged in an investigation into the Fremantle Hosp Hospital Psychiatric Unit, Elmer Street. Um, 12 month investigation, and they're getting the chief psychiatrist to uh, Rowan Davidson to conduct the investigation. Now, any investigation anywhere around the world that's been conducted into psychiatry by psychiatrists, obviously, it's not going to work, is it? And they um, they just cover it up because the evidence throughout the world is that for 200 years they've been murdering people with their treatments. So there seems to be a bit more awareness going on. It's been reported by the Fremantle Herald and uh, the um, investigations that have, one of the politicians, Ravlich, is a Labor politician. I don't generally support the Labor politicians. There's lots of reasons for that. I'll talk about that another time. Uh, looking at the uh, in particular, the it is in the public interest, she said, that toxicology testing be done to assess whether or not the prescription medication, namely the antidepressant drug parazextine, uh, or light-type drugs, may be a cause, causal factor in suicide deaths. And it is true, absolutely, that psychiatric drugs, every single one of them, you know, Paxil, Respiridin, Venlafaxine, all of them, uh, every single every single one of them is made of a chemical chemical compound. You do a chemical analysis, and it is well known through research throughout the world, and particularly in the United States and Australia, that psychiatric drugs murder people. They kill them with long-term use of psychiatric drugs, and children. They've murdered children with those drugs. There's evidence everywhere for that. Uh, they also cause suicide, and the amount of suicide that is uh, engaged, people that are on psychiatric chemical compounds, is enormous. Um, and it also is uh, common in the research that the practitioners themselves, psychiatric practitioners, have a high incidence of suicide as well as, uh, as practitioners. So the whole industry is an industry of death. It is. Everything they do is deadly, and it's doesn't. They're not helping anyone. How much? How many people have to be murdered? How many people have to die, whether from d dying from their treatments, long-term treatments, or dying because of suicide? Okay. And the current investigation by the chief psychiatrist Davidson, 12-month re review covers clinical decisions made around emissions and discharges at Elmer Street in which people have died within 14 days after leaving emergency. It will not include, not include, interviews with clinicians and carers, nor family members, about individual cases, relying instead on patient records. So essentially, who's writing the records? Of course it's the psychiatrists, and I know at least in one murder case, they just take the records, they cover it up. So they're just covering it up, and the politicians have got blood on their hands, the psychiatrists have got blood on their hands, the judges have got blood on their hands, because uh, the investigations have been asked um, once this politician wants the state coroner Alastair Hope to hold a public inquest saying probe by a department insider doesn't cut it. I agree with that, absolutely. The chief psychiatrist is an employee of the health department, so it's like Caesar investigating Caesar. Um, and his response was that senior police officers of the coroner investigation unit have also indicated that they propose to review a number of other cases with a view to determining whether similar cases are raised. Good. Um, he said that he planned to ensure a review was conducted to identify similar cases and perceived systematic errors. Well, there's not systematic errors, are they? Because people have been murdered, and it's been going on for year, decades, decades. 
How many people have been murdered in West Australia? Thousands. Over the last 50 years? Probably about 10,000 people, if you look at the research data. It's not easy to get hold of, but I know a way of getting hold of it. And these investigations, there has to be a Royal Commission. There has to be a Royal Commission. So much murder and death going on. And um, the Royal Commission has to be conducted by the State Solicitor's Office and not by the Chief Psychiatrist. They should be all suspended from their work and um, they sh should not be a part of this invest conducting the investigations. They should be just queried. All their records and resources, records should be seized. Um, the Cor Corruption and Crime Commission has to get involved. So does the Commissioner of Police. So the investigation has to include the State Solicitor's Office, lawyers, the Triple C and the, and the Commissioner of Police. And the judges also have to be accountable for knowing that people have been murdered and have died in psychiatric hospitals throughout the decades and doing nothing about it, just covering it up. And then you can't, they're not going to get away with this. There has to be a Royal Commission, a very big one, and it has to be um, done by people who aren't involved in that work. And then you have to stop the practice of psychiatry. It has to be stopped. It has to be abolished. You cannot continue a practice where people, millions of people around the world, according to the research data, are murdered. All around the world for 200 years. 200 years of murder and death, whether from treatments or from suicide. It has to be stopped. We cannot continue this practice. And everybody involved, the, the, the victims, they have to be freed. They have to be free to live in the community and support it properly. Proper health care, you know. Access to work and housing and uh, counselling. Counselling. We have to stop this practice, we do. Because people have been murdered and uh, it's so serious that that we're going to have a very big Royal Commission into this and there will probably be, this will be the biggest Royal Commission that we'll ever have and probably ever will have again because it's to do with so much death involved and you know we have to stop it and we have to stop we have to be honest and we have to say, you know, look what they're doing to David. I want the authorities, the politicians and the police to stop them drugging David and to give his money back and to give his license back to him and to give his life back to him. And I don't know what's happened because the government authorities have stopped me from having contact with him legally which I have to go to the court now and sue them for defamation. And I'm going to expose the people who were involved in that, including a magistrate who made an order when I wasn't even there. And the magistrate's name's not even on the document. Uh, and the applicant's name's not on the document. And I was served with the document by the police, the VRO, to stop me having contact with David when I'm trying to save his life and get his money back and, and stop them drugging him. And they've done this to me. So not only are they hurting David, they're hurting me as well. And they're so such cowards, they're such cowards, that their names are not even on the document, not even the magistrate's name. Well, I'll tell you what, no judge in this country is going to make any order against me. I'm not even there. How cowardly of you to make any order against anybody, and particularly me, when I'm not even there. And the name, your name, is not even on the document, the name of the magistrate. How cowardly are you? And I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Because you're going to be accountable for what you've done. Causing defamation to me when I'm protecting my brother. And trying to save his life and get his money back. And uh, stop them destroying his life, which they're doing. And you're protecting them. Well, you're going to... You'll be judged for that. And I don't have to take that from you. I don't care who you are. And your name is not even on the document. You can take that order off. You can cancel that order, which is causing defamation to me. You can cancel that order, or I'll sue the whole lot of you for defamation. 
because you don't have a right to do it. And you're such a coward that your names are not even on the document, on the VRO document. How cowardly is that? How dare you? How dare you? If I write a book about public issues, my name's on it. But you don't have a right to do that to me under the Constitution for any judge to make an order against a person. They're not even present in the court. And under the Constitution, you're not allowed to do that, the, the Commonwealth Constitution. So you can cancel it or I will sue the whole lot of you in the district court for defamation for hundreds of thousand dollars worth of damages. And I've done it before and you know that I've won and you know that I'll do it again. So cancel the order. And this is going out to the whole world and I don't care. I'll name every single one of you and stop drugging my brother. Stop murdering my brother, okay? And, uh, you know, stop murdering my brother, give his money back and stop causing defamation to me. Otherwise, I'll just, when I get all the paperwork, I'll just name every single one of you, and uh, including the judges involved. Because you don't have a right to do it to me or anybody. You're cowards. You are. And I sit here and say it to the whole world, how dare you make orders against people that are not even there and engage in defamation. It's protecting people who are murdering my brother, David. So, you know, this, this whole psychiatric thing, we've got to have a Royal Commission and it's got to stop and take responsibility for all this death going on. Thank you. Hello, Theresa Van Lisha. I'd like to show the Australian people the evidence of what, because of my brother David, I'm trying to save his life, stop them drugging him stolen all his money and get his license back and I've been helping him. David and I are born on the same day, on the 20th of September, two years apart. My parents were married for 53 years and they had nine children and they passed away recently. Now, this is probably the reason why David and I are born on the same day, because I have to fight for his life. And you know what the government is doing to me, the authority? Uh, a government, uh, government department took a VRO out on me. You know, all I've been doing for years is helping him and uh, uh, stopping them doing what they're doing over the last 18 months. And they went to the Magistrates Court in Perth and took a VRO out on me to stop me having contact with him legally, to stop me having contact with David legally. So I can't have contact with him now. And that's, this is dated the 9th March. So uh, this is um, uh, six weeks. I haven't seen him for six weeks. I don't know what's going on. And you know what? They're such cowards because the magistrates signed it and uh, there's no name. They haven't put their name. And also they've set a hearing for, um, for the end of March. And... Uh, also, the, uh, the applicant from the public, the government department, which was, I think, I was told on the telephone, it was uh, the public advocate because of the judge, Cheney. J.A. Cheney, President of the State Administrative Tri Tribunal, is a cruel person. And, and, and this worker, government worker from the public advocate, has put a VRO out to stop me having contact. Who is it? it I don't know. There's no names here. And I get served with the police at my home, come to my home from an order from some magistrate in the magistrate's court in Perth. What a coward. What a gutless bunch of people. There's no name on this document. And the applicant's name is not even on there. The department, the government department's name is not even on this document. Or the person who did it. And I think it's got to be Laurie Lehman Bybeck, L E H M A W N. BYBYK because Cheney appointed her to be guardian over David. Stop me having contact with my own brother, stolen all his money over $64,000 and his license, took it off him, and drugging him. They are murdering my brother. And I will name every single person involved in this, including 
including the judges. Three judges in the Supreme Court and one in the District Court who did nothing to help my family, absolutely nothing. And two of them in the Supreme Court, in the Court of Appeal, lied in judgment transcripts. I've got the documents. And I'll drag them out. This VRO, I want it cancelled. How dare you do this to me? You're being cruel to my brother and you're being cruel to me. You are murderers. And all the people helping them are murderers. The people in the Triple C have done nothing to help us. And the police, Commissioner of Police as well. I want this VRO lifted. And you are absolute cowards. And you're not going to get away with this. I want this cancelled. And there's a hearing in the end of May in the Magistrates Court in Perth. And if I had the document, it's in another room to tell you what date it's on. And I'll tell you. So the public can come. Actually, I'm going to record this again. So you want to engage in defamation of me with a VRO and it's gutless because there's no name of the magistrate on there and it's been made for the benefit of David Van Leeshout and I've told the entire world through broadcasting of what they're doing to him and I've been trying to stop them. And so this magistrate is the same magistrate because the signature's the same and on the 10th of April, because uh, of course I put an objection in. This is my objection that I put in. And there's a hearing on the 29th of May at 9.30am in the Perth Magistrates Court, Hay Street, Perth. If people in the West Australian public can be there to support what they're doing to me, they're being cruel to me and my brother. And, and this has been, hearing has been set by the same magistrate, the signature's the same. There's no name on there. I, no judge, human judge in this country has a right to make an order against me or anybody, innocent person, to, uh, without them even being present, you know. And it's done by the public advocate, probably, while I've been told on the telephone. And But their names are not in the document. There's no name of the government authority that's done it. But I know that, that the government has done it. So they're deliberately stopping me having contact with David, but also to cause defamation. And I will name every single one of you if this is not cancelled, and I'll, I'll sue every single one of you in the district court for defamation under the Defamation Act of 2005. And... Uh, Maximum damages, 250,000 plus aggravated damages. And I've done it before, I've presented the case. So you're not going to get away with this. You are engaged in evil. Because you are murdering my brother, stolen all of his money, and taken his driver's licence and his car keys off him. Like, you've got a right to do that. And then you've stopped me legally having contact with my own brother. How evil are you? And you're not going to get away with it because I'll continue to continue until you're exposed to what you're doing, until you stop doing what you're doing until this can is all is cancelled and I get damages now for what you've done. And I'm going to keep going until you lose your job, every single one of you, including the judges in the, in the Supreme Court, three of you, one in the Supreme Court who did nothing to help my brother David and my family when I went there, and two in the... Court of Appeal who lied in judgment transcripts about uh, appeals that I engaged in the Supreme Court and I'm going to name you and I'm going to continue to um, expose you until you resign or lose your job because taxpayers money, Australian taxpayers money being to employ judges who are corrupt and who lie in judgment transcript who allow murder to go on by psychiatrists and the people that support them and did nothing to stop them doing what they're doing to my brother, the judges. You are all going to lose your jobs because I'm not going to stop until you do. Because you are corrupt. And how much murder is going on? There has to be a Royal Commission into this practice because you are covering it up. And you 
Magistrates Court in Perth, gutless, doesn't even have the name on there, and the applicant's name is not even in it. And I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Oh, you're so fabulous, aren't you? Huh? Making orders against people when they're not even there. Innocent people and uh, engaging in defamation. And if I've been upset with a few people, I'm entitled to that because you are murdering my brother. And I'm trying to stop it. And you are still, you've stolen his money. You've stolen over $64,000 of his money. And every single one of you is responsible for this if you don't stop it. The politicians, the judges, the uh, Commissioner of Police and the Triple C, you know, it goes on and on and on. You just cover for each other, don't you? That's what you do. You just cover and you engage in defamation of people. You do what you want at the taxpayer's expense. So the taxpayer's paying for you to destroy people's lives. Well, aren't you a fabulous person? Aren't you a fabulous person? Every single one of you I'm going to name and you're going to lose your jobs. So you can make a choice. You can either start helping me and my family and my brother, or you can continue to support the work of murder and stealing of people's assets. That public trust has stolen, because of judges' orders, millions of dollars of people's money. I know that this has been going on for a long time. Those people have had their assets stolen and money stolen, and they've ended up dead or in prison, or rotting in a psychiatric prison, because that's exactly what they are. So, you know, you call this justice, this has got nothing, this is evil, this is what it is. You using your position for evil, that's true, and you're getting paid for it, which is criminal. So I want to cancel, how gutless is this? And the hearing's on the 29th of May, and I'll turn up for half an hour and uh, 9.30 in the morning, and I'll stand there and ask for it to be cancelled, and if it's not cancelled, I'll go straight to the district court and sue the whole lot of you and get hundreds of thousands of dollars of damages, and I'll do it. And those, those judges will help me, because I know the district court judges are a lot better than, than some of the other judges, and the Supreme Court's obviously got corrupt judges, and I'm going to name your, those judges. I will be naming, I've got all the documents. You know, why should we put up with corruption? Why shouldn't you be named? And if the Triple C doesn't do anything about it, everything I've reported to the Triple C for the past decade as a teacher, as a teacher, and this personal issue, they've done nothing. You know, government officials that have lied in reports, and you can, you're not going to get away with it, because the God of the Bible and the God of Heaven is going to judge every single human being, and including you. And everything I've reported to you, you haven't done anything about it. Just continue to cover up for people. Lie, you know. There's no... There's no integrity there. But you just aren't going to get away with it. 